Sudah dimasakin, kita ini baru pertama kali loh. This Benar. is my, the first time ever been cooked by um, Ambassador ya. Uh, thank you so much. Thank so, you. can we can My pleasure, we try? please start. Okay. You have to be okay. very honest and tell me what you think. Okay. Because I never use a recipe. Chris right. Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth special. Special muscle. Okay, lots of muscle. Okay, now, lots the good of thing about this dish is you use your fingers. Oh, Makes boleh pakai itu aja ya. Okay. Makes it much easier. It's okay. So, muscle become smaller ya kalau udah di yeah. ini. And change color. Okay. Boleh pakai Boleh, boleh pakai tangan aja. I'm so sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm so nice. I already washed my ini. Hands. Yeah, so no problem. And then we just put the shell in there. Hmm. Hmm, enak banget. So what do you think? I love it. It's good. I can go through salty. this. Mm -hmm. A little bit salty. Um, it's not too salty. No, I mean, no. it's just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then people uh, like testy, testy, salt, salt. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So can I think we just dip it in the you can. broth? And when you finish the mussels, you can eat the broth as a soup. Mm. So it should taste a little bit buttery mm -hmm. and a little bit salty. Oh, yeah, because tadi dikasih butter, mm. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Jadi nggak perlu garam, ya, Teh? Mm. So it's, it's so good. It's enough. So like Indonesia, seafood in Australia is very popular. Very fresh, too. Very I had um, oysters there when we were... Mm. Oh, so, so good. Australia has a, a type of oyster of its own. Mm -hmm called the Sydney Rock Oyster, which is a small, very delicious oyster. Right. But also Pacific oysters. So uh, oysters from Australia are very high quality. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. like Indonesians, Australians mm -hmm. love uh, udang, love prawns. Udang, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in Australia, we have them both wild and, and farmed. Farm. Mm. And farmed. So I want to try the pasta. We put a little bit of Australian parmesan cheese on it for you. Okay, the parmesan cheese. Cheese, yeah. yeah. Kita coba and, so Australian dairy is always uh, good quality. So is that good? Very good. <laughs> Serious, yeah. The best, the best test. Pasta. Very. Yeah. We should come here every day, yeah. Very, very. We very, should come here every day. Very easy to make. Very easy to make. Many enak banget eh. Mmm. So Australia has a big tradition of Italian cooking. We had mm -hmm. a big wave of migrants from Italy. Mm -hmm. and, and migrants in Australia have been such an important part of our Migrant. country. Oh, okay. Including for food. Right. So we've, we're very lucky in Australia. You can mm -hmm. get many, many different cuisines. And it's oh, you are so right. And big rate yes. of migration, yes. which is very good for the country. I, I cannot remember, I mean, I'm not just saying this because this month uh, we're talking, uh, you know, uh, the, apa namanya, the theme for the campaign, tourism, mm. Aussie banget itu culinary, but I've been to Australia a few times and I don't think I've ever tasted anything bad. It's always good food. Mm. Mm. So I think over the last few years, um, the quality of Australian food and coffee mm -hmm. has become much more even. Mm. Oh, so awesome. you could always get good food and coffee mm -hmm. in Australia, but now you find mm. it everywhere. Yeah. And I think that's that's the difference. So um, what I think is interesting for visitors from places like Indonesia is you can do your own exploring. Mm -hmm. You don't all have to go to the same place. You can be the first person to discover somewhere. Right. And so, yeah. Right. I was going to say, and that's a bit, one of the interesting parts about travel in Australia. Every time I, one of my Indonesian friends come back, they'll tell me about a cafe they found yeah. that I haven't heard of. Oh, yeah. And I think that's a very nice Oh, there's nice plenty thing. of like little cafes, very relaxed ambience, family friendly, and the food is always yeah. so good. But what I want to know also, this, uh, this whole year for the Aussie Bangan, yes. every month you have different theme. We do. Like for May, mm. I think you have music for we, May. So what's, what's going to be happening in May? So um, when we do, uh, for our music month, this is our experimental month. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So I think there are very strong connections between Australia and Indonesia in fashion. Mm -hmm. Very strong connections in film. In mm -hmm. And I think there's a big opportunity in music. Right. So Indonesians, I think, and particularly the younger uh, element of the community, are very keen on J-pop. Mm -hmm. J-pop, yeah, yeah. K-pop. Yeah. K-pop, yeah, Japanese. So Australia Korea. has a very strong tradition of two types of music. One is pop music, what you and I mm -hmm. would describe as pop music, mm -hmm. but also indie music. Oh, okay. So the indie music scene in Australia is very strong. Right. So we're looking for opportunities to encourage people to think about uh, uh, working with Australians in, mm -hmm. in music. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So we'll, we'll be looking for to sponsor some, uh, a couple of Australian singers, a couple of Indonesian mm -hmm. singers to maybe either do a concert at the same time oh, okay. or perhaps together. Oh, so yeah. it's our experimental month. Well, okay. We haven't done much in the music space mm -hmm. before, but I think it's very promising. On, uh, so I have a Twitter feed, and every Friday on my Twitter account, I put up a piece of music from Australia that nobody's heard before. Oh, okay. From uh, a piece of indie music, and it's very indie popular. Music. Very oh, popular. Okay. So 
Um, so we're very keen to encourage um, right. much more work on the music scene. Yeah, yeah. And for our alumni, once a year we do a big concert. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try and have a special guest from Indonesia each year. So last year it was the singer Tulus. Tulus, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, and we had a dinner this uh, dinner this year, and we had the Bacha El. Bacha so, El, uh, oh, She came okay. and sang for us. Okay. So we try and encourage Indonesian and Australian Both music. countries to yeah. to it know is. about each other's yeah. music and, and collaborate. And also. again, I think you know it's one of those areas where not only is it good because it's a partnership. But it's a, a career in which many people are interested. So right. we're talking about fashion. You know, you see lots of jobs in fashion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music is the same. I think. Yeah, you know, lots right. of people are interested in music. Yeah. So, okay. so we'll keep encouraging music as a as a as a new form of cooperation. Right. It's much more interesting, I think, than government to government. Right. To be right. We're looking forward to that month. It yes. should be fun. Yeah, Bulan and May. Yeah. What can I do in Australia that uh, I can't do anywhere else? Uh, and so you can climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Sydney mm -hmm. Harbour Bridge. Climb to the top of the bridge. This is in Indonesia, so come on. Yeah. yeah. So you can climb to the top of Sydney Harbour Bridge. Okay. Um, you can go to Broome in Western Australia and yeah. ride camels on the beach. They'll take mm. you on a camel trip. Right. Uh, you, you can could, go skiing. You can ski. Viewer, right? So you can su learn to surf. Mm -hmm. So oh, sure. in many places, the Gold Coast, Sydney, Melbourne, you can learn to surf. Mm -hmm. um, you can learn to ski. Mm -hmm. If you go between June and September, we yeah. have. Uh, uh, good skiing in Australia, mm -hmm. and you see very good schools, so you can learn to ski. Mm -hmm. You can learn to scuba dive. Okay, wow. You could go to the Great Barrier Reef in the north of Queensland. Mm -hmm. Wow, this um, is why Australians are so sporty. They they have they can do sport anywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they can. So you could learn to scuba dive. So mm -hmm. lots of interesting places. Um, if you're interested in uh, food tourism, you could mm -hmm. go to Tasmania or South mm -hmm. Australia. These are smaller states which are very easy to move around, mm -hmm. so you can do a lot in a little mm -hmm. bit of time. Oh. You can go to Margaret River. Okay. Margaret River is a beautiful place, north mm, of Perth. Good food also. North of Perth. Okay. Uh, we heard that you also like to travel, right? Around Indonesia. I do. Just yes, recently I do. you went to the Makam uh, Wali Songo. I did. In Java. Yeah. Itu kan Wali Songo semua tahu, hmm. ini sejarah Islam yang yeah, tentang banget di Indonesia. How was that? That was very interesting for me. So, in my time here, I've tried to work very hard to connect with the Indonesian community. Yeah. Not just government, not just business, but people in the community. Mm -hmm. So um, I've tried to go to universities, mm -hmm. Pesandren, Madrasa, oh, Pesandren. But, but what I have been doing is visiting mosques. So I've been okay. to almost 50 mosques right. and I decided to do the Wali Songo pilgrimage. Uh -huh. So I've been to all the graves, mm -hmm. all the Sunan, tombs, Sunan, yeah. uh -huh. to Sunan Sunan and it was very, very interesting I have to say. I thought you saw Indonesia as it was, very tolerant, mm -hmm. very moderate, right. and very welcoming. So right. I'm I'm Catholic, so I'm right. not, not Muslim. Yeah. My family grew up Catholics. But in every place I went, I was very impressed by how welcoming the, the, the people were. So for me, that was a great insight into mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indonesian culture mm. and Indonesian wow. religious practice. Even I have not been. Udah pernah kamu ke Jawa, ke makam-makam yang sunan-sunan? Oh, kan emang asalnya Jawa. Tapi udah pernah? Udah pernah. Oh, udah pernah. Jadi study tour in my Julia Oh, study tour in Julia Ya, ya, You have to know about sunan. Ya, sejarahnya. Is there anything that, that can compare to that when we go to Australia? Any any kind of history like, like that? Um, well, look, if I was an Indonesian and I visited Australia and you were interested in that kind of history, mm -hmm. um, what most Indonesians don't realise that in each of the state capitals, Perth and Brisbane, Sydney, yeah. Melbourne, are very old mosques. Right. And they have yeah. very old architecture. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very interesting to go and see them. So the oldest mosque in Australia is 1860. Oh. So a long time ago. Oh, Australia has about 175 mosques. Mm -hmm. And the original mosque, it looks like a hut, like a pondok, like in the pondok. middle of the in the middle uh -huh. of the of the countryside. Oh, I see. So and very, still very, <laughs> still okay. there. very, oh, okay. very interesting. Maybe so. next okay. time I stop uh, going to eat so much in Australia and start visiting those historical sites. Om Paul, terima kasih lo. Thank you so much. Kita di sini belajar tentang Aussie banget, campaign mereka untuk pariwisata. Dimasakin juga. Ada Chris Hemsworth di atas meja ini sama kita ya, luar biasa. Ada pasta juga, ada kopi. Can we stay here for the weekend? You're always very welcome. Kita bisa nginep di sini ya. We can. Always. We want to try your daughter's baking. Yes, we'll have to send you some of her biscuits. Terima kasih banget. Kita sudah tahu banyak informasi tentang kampanye pariwisata dari Australia. Osi banget. Jadi kalau mau ke Australia sekarang 
tinggal di Google aja atau visit ke kedutaan Australia ya. Di situ pasti ada informasinya tiap pulau mereka punya tema yang beda-beda. So, thank you for watching guys and I'm sorry ya. Uh, this is work. This is not pleasure. This is work. I have to keep eating. This is work. This is, this is work. I don't we'll call it that if it takes It's work. It's work. Okay. Selamat pagi semuanya. Dah. Okay, guys. go back to work now. Okay, okay. We go back to we work. Have to, we have to